What's up YouTube, MJ here, back with another video and welcome to my NBA 2K21 My Career Walkthrough. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my player build, badge upgrades, physicals, and how to choose a takeover. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right guys, so before I jump right into the gameplay footage of my NBA 2K21 My Career, uh, I basically just wanted to give you guys overall haul of my player build my attribute settings and just kind of give you guys a little background onto my character so that when you do start watching the gameplay footage you kind of understand uh my player's tendencies all right so first thing i wanted to talk to you guys is about um diving into my player build so the first thing you get to do here when you create your my player is you get to allocate attribute upgrades now right now mine says zero is because i have everything allocated um i'll have to double check to see how much you start with but i think you might start with something in like the mid to high uh, hundreds um and you basically can allocate these um, attribute upgrades into different categories and as you can see here in the categories on the left hand side you have four major categories you have finishing you have shooting you have playmaking and you have defense slash rebounding so uh let's just jump right into it man so this is how i chose to set my attributes and all of the attributes that i aligned or allocated to my player are based off of my individual personal um attributes and these are you know i i played basketball in high school i played basketball in college so i try to make these builds as realistic as possible that way when i get into the gameplay i can maneuver and do things on the court that i would normally do in real life so again um just one quick disclaimer before um, I continue if you guys end up watching this series and you end up watching the gameplay. I am a casual gamer I am not you know a super competitive gamer I like playing these games because it keeps me connected to the NBA It keeps me connected as a gamer and being able to create this content allows me to give back to the gaming community so um, Just take everything that I say with a grain of salt, but I will be sharing some really intuitive uh, basketball IQ knowledge just from things that I've learned throughout my personal career and things that I like to do in the game I mean first and foremost playing video games is about having fun it's about exploring your creativity so we're gonna kind of mix a little bit of that into this so I don't want to spend too much time on diving into every single little detail on this thing um, but I, I this will be a thorough uh, video but I'll try to make it as quick as possible so first thing we want to do is look at the finishing so for the finishing you can just look here and see I've pretty much like you know set the attributes um, you set your potential so setting your potential is basically giving yourself a cap in each individual subcategories. So the main category is finishing, but then you have subcategories, which is close shot, driving layup, driving dunk, standing dunk, and post hook. So you basically set your potential at what you think your cap will be. And then as you start to play the game, you earn um, upgrade attributes to be able to, you know, build up that you know that category so as you can see just looking it kind of shows you it kind of dictates where you're going to start at but you get the option to decide like where you're going to cap out at and because they only give you a specific amount of attribute upgrades you can't just go ham in here and just set everything to 99 because you're going to run out of attributes so you have to kind of be strategic as to which subcategories you want to max out and which ones you don't really care too much about and while i'm on that topic determining which subcategory you max out and which ones you don't will ultimately dictate how many badge upgrades that you can get which you can see over on the right hand side where it says badge upgrades so 
let's continue on through these attributes so I, I, I fairly gave myself a close shot of 88 driving layup of 91 driving dunk of 81 and standing dunk of 60 and post hook of 58 now i gave these ratings because a number one i don't want to be able to miss close shots but at the same time let's be real people in the nba miss layups and they miss close shots so for me to put that as like a 99 would not just be realistic so i pretty much gave myself um a b plus in that area driving layups i myself was more like a mid-range shooter slasher early on in my career and then later on in my career i came more like a mid-range maestro so i gave myself a 91 at driving layup driving dunk you know i wasn't really much of a dunker but for the game sake you know i want to be able to drive to the basket as a slasher and be able to convert dunks um standing dunk i gave myself a 60 you know not so much of just having like a high vertical week where i'm just a guy in the post and being able to just you know dunk on guys so i gave myself a 60 there and post hook was something that i had in my repertoire early on in my career when i was playing out of position just learning how to play in the post but that wasn't one of my go-to moves or specialty skills so that's why i gave myself a 58 jumping into shooting uh we got mid-range shot again i said i was a mid-range maestro in my career so this is pretty much where i tried to keep things pretty level uh my mid-range my mid -range shot actually should probably be higher than an 81 it should probably be more like a 90 um but here i gave myself an 86 for free throw and three-point shooting i did i'm not really too much of a three-point shooter but i can knock down the three from time to time so that's why i gave myself a 70 post fade doing fadeaways just was not in my repertoire wasn't in my bag so i didn't even bother putting anything there pass accuracy i believe i was a pretty good passer so a 78 puts me around that c plus b um category area ball handling same thing with ball handling post moves probably should a little bit been a little bit higher because i do like to go down in the post um, as far as the video game is concerned and try and take advantage of smaller players because once we get to the height you'll see that i'm a 6'5 uh, shooting guard and so um and real quick let's just jump to the defensive side now i was a defensive minded uh individual so interior defense i didn't really find myself caught in too many positions down low in the post so interior defense i i didn't really do anything with that perimeter defense is something that um i'm going to upgrade over time honestly my cap is a 76 so that means i'm roughly around that c c plus area um i felt like i probably should have boosted i boosted that up a little bit more but at this point in time based off of the the my player that i'm going to be showing you guys in the videos it's too late for me to change that but i probably should have spiked that up a little bit because that was my area of specialty lateral quickness is going to allow me to move side to side fast to fast so when you're you know do defensive slides and you're just you know gliding with your player to guard you know really strong offensive minded players you're not going to be sliding all over the court and going in areas where you know where you just can't keep up with the guy steals i kind of kept that respectable uh block shots 45 you know you'll, you'll get some blocks here and there but just not wasn't really much of a, a shot blocker um offensive rebound rarely ever really got any offensive rebounds might have got some here and there and defensive rebounding is like a huge thing but again i tried to keep it realistic and you know i gave myself a 64 which means i'm probably going to average anywhere around like two maybe three if i get lucky maybe four rebounds a game so that's kind of where we stand with the attributes on setting my potential um and then uh let's move on to the badge upgrade so as you can see once you have all your potential allocated it will dictate how many badge upgrades that you're allowed to get now let me tell you um we'll probably just uh stop this video here and just jump into the next video because i want to keep these videos short and sweet i don't want them to carry over too long so tune into my next video while i will talk about badge upgrades see you there